So we've defined what a slider was. It's an input. It has a range between different values, and it has a certain context that we can relate back to in the real world. Let's see how it's now integrated inside of the car that we're now upgrading. That vehicle keeps on changing and getting better, and we can we can control it in more ways. So we'll go back to the app, and we'll find a new system. I go into the race car system. All of my blocks are connecting, so I've got my button and my slider, it's very good. I've now got my two motors connecting as well. And I'll bring this back down here so we can see. Now I can connect my controller to my car and I can see that my inputs are moving, but nothing's happening to my car yet. So what I need to do is just draw a line. Once that line is drawn, I've unlocked the two functions. I've got a steering function, I can see the animation change if I push my slider. And I've got the go function. So now if I press on my button, the car goes in one direction, and it goes in the other direction. Go left, I can go to the right, and I can also go straight. So I can let my students play with this for one minute before calling all of them back to um, attention, and before we get an explanation of what's actually happening. And we can start inquiring with them. They've learned from the drag racer, so now they should know a bit more to be able to explain the race car. So we can grab a screenshot and we can analyze it. So as before, we had one system. So here we've got the race car system. We've got the race car system. And in this system, we've got two inputs. We've got the button, we've got the slider. We've got two outputs. We've got the two motors here. We also got two functions. So I'll just say that the system is called the race car. And we've got two functions. We've got, as before, we've got the go function. So that go function goes from the button to the motors. And we've got the steering function that goes from the slider to the motors as well. So let's put that back into a diagram, like the one we've done before. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this a photo and I'm going to start drawing a new diagram. So I'll go back to my previous diagram here with Drug Racer and I will draw one for the slider. Well, sorry, for the race car. So I've now got the race car. And in this race car, I had two inputs, I had two outputs. My inputs were the button and the slider. My outputs were the two motors. So I had one motor and then two motors. It was all belonging to one system called the race car. So I'm defining this here. And I'm just going to define the two functions now. So I had the go function here. And I had the steering function here, which I'm representing with a little driving wheel whenever I explain it. So we went from a system with one input, two outputs, and just one function with a drag racer here to a system where we had two inputs, two outputs, and two functions. So we can go further and add even more and more onto the interface, which we'll do in just a second.